We are impacting society directly. Because the world population is growing, people need food, and the area we have to produce the food is limited. With population growth increasing, there's going to be more pressure put on our farmers, so we do need to find a way to make our farming more efficient. I work in the seed treatment group within APN Biology. We work hand in hand with many field researchers um, so that we can get them the right quantity and type of treated seed so that they can conduct their field trials. We order the seed, weigh it out, and treat it with the appropriate rate of fungicide, nematicide, insecticide, as well as polymers and color. I like the purple ones. It takes between 8 to 10 years to bring a product to market, so that's a huge amount of time and effort spent by many different people. That's one of my favorite parts of my job, working with a diverse group of people with many different backgrounds, and we can come together to collaborate on different projects. It's really satisfying to see when a product is finally registered and can be used by the customer. Our job is insecticide discovery and development. We find the molecule, develop the product, and support the products that are already registered. We work with chemists, field biologists, and marketing specialists to get the best products on the shelves for our growers and our pest management professionals. BASF is the largest chemical company in the world, so when it comes to environmental health and safety, we want to lead by example. We feel like a strong safety culture, one where people are looking out for one another, is the only way we can successfully reduce accidents and injuries. It's my job to ensure all employees are educated when it comes to safety, that all incidents are reported and corrective actions are taken, and that we are in compliance with all environmental health and safety regulations. This is important to me and to BASF as a company because the safety of our employees and the community is paramount. We ship R&D samples for field trials to all 50 states within the U.S. and to over 40 countries around the world. If we delay shipping samples to those conducting the trials, then they may lose a whole year of data. It's critical that we do ship the, the right type and quantity of samples on time, so there's no delay in registering our products. Here in sample management, we receive approximately 15,000 plant and soil samples a year for the trials being conducted. These samples are taken at different harvest intervals, shipped to us from around the world, and homogenized for testing. It is extremely important to maintain sample integrity throughout the whole process because without good reproducible data you will not be able to obtain a registration for that product. In the Trace Analysis Lab we use tools to test these samples to make sure they're safe for the environment and human health. Then we report that data back to the Consumer Safety and Environmental Group. We're always looking for smaller and smaller amounts. We have some methods where we can see as low as 5 ppt of our compound in water. That's parts per trillion. I believe that other departments know that our group has a high amount of integrity when it comes to the data. I think that's the most important thing, that when the data comes out of here, people have no doubt that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. If it's there, we're going to find it. We are part of the formulation group and we test prototype formulations in real-world scenarios to make sure they work the way they are supposed to. We help to improve formulations in areas like application, delivery and safety to increase benefits to the grower. For instance, we improve the formulation so that when it's sprayed, it stays on the plants it's designed for and doesn't come in contact with other areas. That's better for the environment. If we can make a product safer and easier to apply, there's benefit to the farmer. Not only improving quality and yield, but potentially saving money in fuel costs, which impacts carbon footprint, less time in the field.
The plant biology group looks for certain characteristics of plants, such as drought tolerance, and works to characterize the phenotypes associated with them. The data we generate is used to identify the genes that influence these particular traits. Some of these traits are not readily visible to the naked eye, so we need to use several different types of machinery and tools that allow us to characterize these phenotypes. Helping plants along the evolutionary process to get to a point where there's higher yield under stressed conditions allows us to meet the growing global food demand. In Crop Transformation Lab, we take genes that have been identified as potentially giving a plant a certain characteristic trait and introduce them to our target plants that don't typically have that trait. This is done on a microscopic level. You have to have a keen eye. We do the same thing over and over again, which can get redundant. So you have to have a passion. We treat these plants with care since they are babies. If we don't get these transient plants to the greenhouse and field efficiently, we won't be successful in developing our future products. Keeping this building going is a 24-7 job. We not only handle the business of heating, cooling, plumbing, and electrical, we try to do it so it's efficient and cost-effective for the company, as well as good for the environment. We've created several systems that have saved water and energy, and overall just made the business more efficient. We also work with lab technicians to develop testing systems that are not readily available. That affects the bottom line of the company, and I take a lot of pride in that. I handle the exporting of our products to our affiliates across the world. I ship quite a bit of product to India and China, and those are the two most populous countries. So if we're shipping them a product that prevents weeds from coming up, and we can improve on that, then they can produce more, harvest more, and feed more people. In agriculture, it's not always clearly an insect problem, a pathogen problem, or a weed problem. These things come all together. So it's important to have a broad knowledge base and be able to pull from these different disciplines to create a solution. Innovation, innovation, innovation. It's how we stay ahead and how we're competitive. From how we market and sell our products, all the way down to how we find the molecules that make up the products. That mentality of innovation has to be part of everybody's job. I love my job. I've been here 20 years. It's not just Monday through Friday, eight to five thing for me. It's what I do. Everyone is integral part of this puzzle. Every person. Every person. Every person. Every person is an integral part. Integral part of the puzzle. Every person is an integral piece of this puzzle. And it's our people that make the difference. It's our people. Our people that make the difference. It's our people that make the difference. BASF, the chemical company.